guys are moved. Oh, oh, very oh, cool. You know what? The thing that's great is that the actors are standing toe to toe, head to head, shoulder to shoulder with the Writers Guild of America because their fight is our fight. It's about increasing minimums for the writers, and it's about corporate greed trying to push down the middle class, and it's happening all over the country. This strike is not just a strike in Hollywood, it's a wake-up call for the entire nation. And when you watch your reruns on television, just think about the writers who are out of work because corporate greed walked away from the table. Has anybody noticed that the television shows has gotten more mediocrity and mundanity? Has anybody know that our writers in America only get like four cents on a $12.95 or $20 DVD? Britain's guys get 5.6%. Get Germany gets more. And these are men who create the work. I mean, we've got Afghanistan, we've got Pakistan with the bomb, we've got Iran, Iraq every day. Why do we hold on to greed destroying each other like this? Is this a lesson we're going to teach our kids? What about a little fair play for these people who create the product? Wouldn't be too bad to do that. Yeah, it's about greed. I mean, it's about greed and it's about dignity for the writers and the actors as well. Their fight, again, is our fight. And until they're willing to share, we're just going to protest. We got our eye on the bargaining table. We're going to protest until we get there, until we get our fair share. We're not, we're not being pigs about it. We're not asking for the world. But we're asking for something. How much fear is there among? I think there's more fear on the side of the producers, on the side of the studios, and there is fear amongst the writers and the actors because we know we're on the side of right. You need to speak to Scott Wilson. Yeah, I look forward. I write on Hollywood. So what's the mood out here? What are you detecting from people? I don't know. I know that I know why you're here because basically this is about the future. Will the next generations, the succeeding generations, be able to make a living in this business? Because it's going to be dependent on the issues that are being dealt with now, if they're able to. And that, that includes writers, actors, directors. It's very important issues that are being dealt with. It's the future. Now, what, what about the whole direction of the, the entertainment industry with so much free content online? Um, is there, like, fear well, about the is, direction this, this industry is going? This has a lot to do with the new delivery yeah. systems and how you participate. It's, it right. deals with a lot of very important, profound issues. I did a story in the paper today about a screenwriter who didn't go to a promotional screening for American Gangster. It's not a struck performance. But at what point do the actors may or may not say, you know what, I don't even want to work, even if it means I'm trying to think of some good points because everybody is on that last leg. So it's just going to happen. It's just going to happen anyway. Couple of weeks there, and there's nothing going on. Not that we have to start a uh, collection for you, but obviously there are people who are going to be on the show who are going to be out of work. I mean, a few dozen, four of people. Right. It's also not our choice to be out. We, we, we definitely hold the ANCTP responsible for not coming to the table to negotiate with us in good faith. And so if they don't want to come and, and talk to us, then it's not our fault that the, that the economy of Southern right. California takes a burn. Tell me your name. I'm Timothy he's Lee. I'm a writer. On the he's, our stri he's our strike captain. Timothy Lee, L-E-A. Lee, -E -A. Uh, yeah. And you're a writer on the show. On the riches. Yeah. Okay, so uh, you're saying that it's, it's really how the AMPGP has been behaving or not behaving? Yes, yeah, so if, they're, if they're willing to negotiate and sit down and discuss their proposals, then we wouldn't be, we would be happy. Of course they say that if the picket lines go down, they'll negotiate as a person. With the no. same as any labor union, all we have as a weapon is our labor. If we withhold that, they can't make their product and make $17 billion a year, which is the predicted internet revenue for advertising by 2000. I don't think I can say all you have to do is look in the Wall Street Journal. Really you can say all you have to do is look in the paper. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I don't want to put words in your mouth. It's not a writer. Hey, love you. Well, thanks for joining me. Love you, love you. Guys, have a good day out here. Thanks very much.